Hey everybody and welcome back to Hey Dad RC. Today we are going to take a comparison view of the all new two wheel drive Armagorgon monster truck and we are going to put it up against a standard Traxxas Stampede two wheel drive. Uh, I've got a couple of Stampedes. Uh, the other one I've got is, is heavily upgraded so I'm using this one here which is the Traxxas Scully which is no longer available just different body and color accents but the base chassis for the Stampede is the same and the Stampede has been around somewhere in the neighborhood of 30 years has not changed all that much not that it necessarily needs to it's 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 a pretty fun truck as it is and this video is not going to be intended to sway you one way or the other I've just seen on uh, different social media sites and, and different YouTube videos and stuff people asking for comparisons so I thought I would get this video out there and hopefully uh, some people that want to know the differences hopefully they find this video helpful so before we get into the specifics of each truck I figured I would show you guys uh, how the wheelbases of these two vehicles line up and as we can see the Armagorgon wheelbase is slightly longer not by much I would say uh, not even quite half an inch but it is a little bit longer and hopefully I can do this where you can tell on camera but it is also just a touch wider not not by a whole lot but it is wider but I think that the slightly longer wheelbase the slightly wider wheelbase does make the Gorgon a little bit more planted uh, I measured the ground clearance on both of these vehicles as well and the Gorgon does sit a bit lower from the bottom of the chassis to the table um, it's probably not quite half an inch but the slightly longer wheelbase slightly wider base and it does sit just that little bit much lower to the ground uh, all helps it handle a bit more easily uh, than it does uh, on the Stampede. So like I said, this is the Scully version of the Stampede. Uh, the closest thing to it now, I think, would be the Traxxas Bigfoot. And, you know, first and foremost, uh, the tires that came on this particular model, I believe are the same ones that come on the Bigfoot. Uh, these are the Traxxas... Um, I don't even know if they have a particular name for these, but these are just their monster truck tires with the Chevron patterns. And on these ones, there are no foams in them uh, as well. As far as, as how the tire feels, um, they are soft enough, uh, but they are designed more for, for long wear and uh, not so much grip, but they handle, they do all right. And, uh, you know, if you're looking at a base Stampede model, these are the tires that come standard on a Stampede. These are their uh, Talon tires. They are foam filled, and for a ready-to-run tire, they actually feel pretty pretty good. Uh, they get the job done, and they and they last a pretty decent length of time. As far as cost, uh, it's been a while since I've bought a Stampede, but since Traxxas came out with that. Uh, the revised line um, where their base model brushed bandit stampede slashes rustlers all come with the LED lights in them now I think that they all retail for right around two hundred twenty nine dollars and if I'm not mistaken I think that they also come with a nickel metal hydride battery so we're gonna hit this with a baseline of two hundred twenty nine dollars and uh, you know let's take a look at the electronics with the Traxxas you get their XL5 speed controller it is capable of running nickel metal hydride or a two cell lipo battery uh, it is a waterproof ESC uh, the Traxxas receiver is encased in a waterproof box and uh, I have really never had any issues with the electronics uh, in a Traxxas rig I don't subject my cars to a ton of abuse I don't run them through a lot of water just because <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of, of of cleaning RCs, so I tend to keep them pretty clean. But I've had this truck now for probably, gosh, I'd have to say probably five years. It's been run a lot, and uh, I have not broken anything on this one. 
knock on wood and as you get with your base uh, Traxxas brush models or Titan 12 turn brush motor it is a 550 size can and uh, like the other electronics in this truck with the motor I've had pretty good luck and for a brush motor it gives you plenty of pop I think stock these vehicles will do around 30 miles an hour and uh, not to say that I haven't burned up a Titan before because I had but they're cheap enough to replace and and I think you know in my opinion they're a pretty good motor I know some people have also had problems with Traxxas servos maybe I've just been lucky I personally haven't had any issues and as far as I know even on the newer uh, versions of their brush vehicles uh, I could be wrong but I think they still come with bushings instead of bearings this particular model the the Scully this one came with bushings uh, metal oil light bushings and they're still actually in this truck um, this one especially because it's discontinued I don't run it a whole lot anymore um, I'm not too worried about damaging the body I just I just don't run it a whole lot but I kept the bushings in there because uh, if I'm not driving it sometimes my son Hayden will drive it and usually this is the truck that will outfit the uh, the Proline Sandpaw tires on the rear and the Intigy skis on the front and will rip this thing out on the snow in the winter time so I just decided to leave this one completely stock and like I said before in stock form I haven't broken anything on this truck all of the transmissions with the that come with the brushed versions of the Traxxas vehicles they're all metal geared they're ready for you to put brushless power to them and again with everything else I've had pretty good luck with the transmission um, I when it comes to breaking things on a Traxxas truck uh, typically for me it's it's caster blocks uh, bearing carriers those are the things that I tend to break uh, somehow one time I was also able to break the battery retainer as well but those are the things that I break so like in my upgraded stampede that I have uh, a lot of RPM parts I do have the aluminum caster blocks on the front of that truck but this one this one here through many runs all brushed all on 2s uh, I haven't broken anything it's held up really well and uh, you know with this one the body mounts they are adjustable so you can fit different bodies on this truck uh, to your liking and that's going to circle around on this one part support you get plenty of part support uh, for Traxxas you love it Traxxas you hate them you can go to any hobby shop and find parts there are hardware stores that carry parts for Traxxas vehicles uh, like I said if you agree with their business practices or not um, that's not something I'm getting into but their baseline of brush models um, offer pretty good value for the dollar in my opinion um, I have currently I think three or four different Traxxas models Hayden has a uh, stock brush slash that sits up in his room um, they're just fun to take out they're fun to bash they hold up pretty well the shocks on these models um, are very good although <laughs> earlier this summer on my upgraded one that I have a brushless system in um, I was bashing it pretty good and for the first time ever I managed to bend a shock shaft so I had to replace that but other than that I mean this this has been a good truck and I think when I bought this all those years ago I think I got it, it was like hundred and seventy dollars but again currently I think on these models you're spending somewhere around two hundred and uh, thirty dollars I believe so that's gonna be the overview on uh, the stampede here I'll get the Gorgon back on the table I'll go over that one quick because I just did an in-depth overview so I'm gonna keep that one quick then we'll round it up okay so here sits the Gorgon and what do we notice right off the bat as far as um, things that are different from the tracks of stampede uh, number one the chassis this is a monocoque chassis and you know basically what that is 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 two plates that are put together this way uh, so that is one of the big differences another one is the mid motor mount um, like we saw in the stampede and most other two-wheel drive monster trucks the motor is going to be back behind uh, the transmission 
and here we see like the voltage series it does sit mid motor and it tends to lend to better handling um, more even jumping when you don't have that extra weight sitting in the back and, and as we saw on my run video a couple days ago uh, it handles the jumps pretty well yeah I sure managed to flip it and stuff but overall it handles really well these tires hooked up reasonably reasonably well it was pretty dry out there the other day and I thought it did very good now as far as the electronics and motor that's a 14 turn brush motor this is a two-in-one ESC unit and like I mentioned uh, in the overview video if you want to use your own radio you can use this as a standalone uh, ESC and use your own receiver so I thought that was a pretty cool feature uh, this hole we see here that sits over the motor and with these screws uh, you can buy uh, a cooling fan which I did notice uh, after running this truck the other day and I did not get it into the video it was pretty warm out that evening for this time of the year temperature was in the 70s uh, I was running it pretty good the motor felt pretty cool but I will say this ESC got pretty hot to the touch so that's something else uh, to keep in mind the shocks on this truck um, the shock bodies themselves overall they are of a bigger diameter they seem a little bit uh, beefier than the tracks of shocks but uh, you know the drive shafts in the rear are quite a bit larger than the ones on the stampede as well you know I'm not gonna sit here at this point and say which one is better I think they both have their place in this hobby and, and the stampede for being around for you know like I said before somewhere in the neighborhood of 30 years there's a reason that it's hung around that long there's a reason that it hasn't changed that much but uh, competition in the two-wheel drive monster truck market in my opinion and is, is always a good thing um, two-wheel drives more inexpensive than four-wheel drive makes it easier for people to get into the hobby to see if they like it or not and uh, like I've mentioned before I personally enjoy driving two-wheel drive vehicles and I was super stoked when uh, Arma announced the Gorgon because it is just something different and uh, after one run I really enjoyed it I also do want to say that earlier today uh, a friend a fellow YouTube friend reached out to me via email I'm not going to mention his name because I'm not sure if he's going to do a video on it and I don't want to spoil it if he does he picked up the Gorgon and uh, told me the run was going real well he was really enjoying it but he clipped the front wheels on something and broke his servo saver on this truck and he said the unfortunate part is uh, it's a very unique servo saver unique to this truck so you have to get that part from Arma and uh, it is not yet available it is on order so keep in mind that that might be something uh, as time goes on uh, you know to keep an eye on uh, I do see the tower lists plenty of replacement parts on their website for this truck right now although they are not currently available and uh, as time goes on it will be interesting to see parts wise how this truck is supported uh, will Arma have plentiful parts out there will a company like RPM make upgrades for it I think that would be another cool thing but uh, that's going to do my quick comparison like I said I'm not trying to sway people one way or the other I'm just giving my impressions on these vehicles uh, as I know them and uh, just trying to anybody that's looking to be a little bit more informed on these vehicles I thought I would try and help like I'd mentioned in the other video on the Gorgon there is no adjustability up front on this truck um, however you can adjust uh, your tow angles um, on the stampede but uh, yeah I think that's gonna wrap it up guys hopefully this video wasn't too dry for you I just hope that uh, if I put this out there if it helps one person then it was well worth the time so guys as always thanks for taking some time out of your day to check out my videos and until next time everybody stay safe we'll see you around